Porn Stars Are People podcast. I'm here with Sylvia Sage. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. You're the first crossover episode where, uh, so I talk about being a comedian a lot. You are a comedian. I am. And yeah. a porn star or former porn star or I don't. Yeah, well. I, I don't really know if you ever leave the life, right? It's kind of really. like comedy. You don't, yeah. I'm still in it. No. I don't want to be necessarily, but yeah. it keeps pulling me back in. Okay. So. I try to get away and it keeps yeah. pulling me back in. It's so true. It's what like, do you want to pay your bills? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> cause com- well, yes, do. I'm in comedy, so I'm, so I'm, I'm aware of the, the lack of abilities. <laughs> right. They're like, oh, you just did uh, an hour? Here's $20. Right. Thank you so <laughs> much. Or just a joint. Thank you so much for flying to <laughs> Vegas and doing <laughs> a show. Here's $11. Yeah. Hope you broke even on it that Motel 6. Yeah, right? <laughs> So yeah, so that's uh, that's the life. So which okay, so which life which life is more um, uh, depressing? Oh my God, that is a really good question. Yeah. Normally people ask me what's uh, more intimidating, yeah. but they're both pretty fucking depressing. Yeah, which lives. one fucked you in lie. the ass harder? Huh? <laughs> I just have to like remember that I'm still a person outside of both of them, and yeah. I'm like that's so I can still be happy. Yeah. But other than that, it's like. Man, comedy, like, every day of your life is, like, somebody telling you you suck, you, you know? Suck. And, and then porn yeah. is, like, somebody making you suck. So yeah, it's like, funny. shit, I can't get away that's from funny. it, you know? Now, uh, yeah, I was I was wondering about this because well, cause Anya was doing the, the live streams, and then right. she talks about sometimes, like, people uh, comment horribly online. So I'm wondering oh, yeah. who has worse heckles on their online videos, porn stars or comedians? Because I've seen some horrible <laughs> things. You're like, kill yourself. You're not funny. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't know if which one's worse. Is like, uh, you know, because because the porn ones are. Pro- I think the porn ones because it's people who honestly like literally never leave their homes mm-hmm. and they're just in their mom's basement yeah. and they're like, oh, I can say whatever I want to this chick. But wh- like, but I don't. But they're not. But I don't think that they're like never. Heaven forbid, I have a zit on my ass. But they're know? never. Like, oh, I don't think they're ever heckles. They're never. They're never look like. They're never like. Oh, you can't suck a dick. You shouldn't be like. It, it's the. But uh, they're like. Like, uh, you know, they'll say stuff about, like, because I have no ass. And they'll be like, oh, she has no ass. But when I'm like, that's who's, so fucking mean. Who's like, this assless you. bitch? <laughs> I, I like the guy, actually, who who ha- who that would be the heckle for comedy, too. Right. He's like, he's not even talking about the jokes. He's like, who is this assless bitch? I actually ab- address it on my stand up. Oh, yeah. So. About how you don't have an ass. Yeah, absolutely. You're like, everybody look and I have no ass. Oh, well, I mean, basically. Yeah. 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 I mean, you gotta self-defecate. Yeah. Know? Especially me, because on stage I walk out and women are like, "Oh, we instantly want oh, to fucking sure. hate you." Oh, this is great. So I, this is what I have on, yeah. uh, in comedy is, is I have a douche face. <laughs> so women <laughs> generally hate me because I look like a, the dude who like wants to fuck them and never call them again. Right. Like that's, yeah. That's the face I have. So yeah. I gotta like tap dance out of yeah. that thing to likability. It's so true. You really do. I'm You're so. Oh, no, you're gonna say how much of a douche face I had? Oh, yeah, thank you, you. kind of do though. Yeah, I mean, I get it. <laughs> no, but so, I probably have fucked you and you didn't call me back. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so the um, so what's it called? So so in in comedy, it's all likability. So I start I start getting bummed out by these people who are just so likable. I know. Right out of the gate, like Aziz. Like and Jeff then, like, Die. Sure. Like, and fuck then, you. Yes, Jeff Anna. Die. Yes, I just met him in Syracuse. <laughs> and yeah, and then you just, and like, you just want to, and then, and the worst part is, is you like start to want to hate them, and then the like ability kicks awesome. back in. And you're like, God damn it. Right? Son of a bitch. No, I really do hate it. I'm yeah. like, everyone likes you, and that's so shitty. Why <laughs> is this happening? <laughs> yeah. I, f- I find the hardest part, because you get into comedy a lot of times because you're you're like a social pariah, and you want to yeah. go up, and you want to you just talk to a crowd and not ever have to have the one-on-one, but then you still got to be the cool one-on-one. Yeah. And it's like, and that becomes hard. I'm, I've, been try- I've been like trying to hang at the comedy store, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be lucky enough to see a guy that I know, like Nate Pregazzi was there the other day, but then I try, and I'm like, all right, I got this, and then I'm like hanging out in the thing, and I don't know any L.A. comics. And then I realized I'm just I start like worrying about whether or not I'm even hunt fun to hang out with. <laughs> That's st- OK. The comedy store. I was just talking to my girlfriend, Lana Turner, also yeah. a comedian about this yesterday. So I'm going back to the comedy store tomorrow, yeah. by the way, if you want to join me, sure. I'll, I'll be your um, wingman. Yeah. But we were saying how it's like it's like a bad high school up there. Yes. People get Comedy mean. And if general. you aren't like in their little clique, like yeah. I've like said hi to comics who like don't think I'm cool enough to be there. And right. they're like, I'm like, hi. And they're like, these are people in New York. I just turn around. I'm like, what the fuck? I started in New York. These are people in New York. There's people in New York that I that I that I gave so much stage time to because I've always been in a, in a role where I, where I've, where I've, um, I have okay. stage time to yeah. give up. Uh, and so I've given <laughs> so many people. People have paid, and they see them. They just go, "Oh, hey!" And like, no, I can't. No, it's like, really? <laughs> right? I get it. I get you're on that show last right, week. Yeah. You've been in L.A. You're writing on yeah. this thing. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. You had something happen in your career. You'll yeah. be broke next month. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. We're all so, on this roller coaster of income, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I've learned.
learned how to just be broke all the time. Yeah, so I have if to. I ever get some money, yeah. uh, then I'm good for a little bit. <laughs> like, I'm fine. I'm not, though, because I'm so, like, used to being broke yeah. that when I get the money, I'm like, what can oh, I you, spend oh, it on? Oh, you go in? You're like, oh, the new Michael everything. Jackson shirts came out. <laughs> Let's do this. No, I don't even buy things. I buy drinks. That's oh, what I do. Yeah. But I buy them for everyone. I'm oh. so social oh, that? of a drinker that oh. I'm like, I got it. It's really what do they call it? They call that. Then they call that. Get, they call that ghetto rich. You just like go buy totally. it around, around for the whole bar. Yeah, and then the next day I look at my bank account. I'm like, shit. I'm like, I'm gonna have to borrow money for groceries. You start calling this everybody, being like, hey, are we still doing the rounds <laughs> thing? Remember when I bought you a round last night? Yeah, because I right? bought all of those. Uh, you, so you just call everybody individually, and you're good <laughs> yeah. for like the next month. That actually, that would be the way. Yeah. That's how we used to, I used to do that with my boys, and they and they. The problem is when you start in comedy, you realize there's no money, so uh, you gotta love it so much, and then you and you gotta figure it out. So all my buddies got out of college, they all started making money, and then we would do this thing where we'd be we go out for a weekend. So tonight is Dan's night, tomorrow's Pat's night, the right. next night is Garrett's night, right. and I couldn't hang on the level with these guys. <laughs> And then they started getting pissed off at me. Aww. And I was like, dude, just don't buy me the thing. I'll, but, uh, I'll hang out. Yeah, I'm going to be the, sober. And I'll, yeah, happen. I'll just, I'll get the the, th the thing that I want. Don't worry. And then, and they were like, they, it's all or nothing, bro. And they, we just, we just <gasps> couldn't be, we couldn't move forward as friends. Oh my, that crazy, is yeah. shitty friends. It's crazy. That's really it's crazy. shitty friends. Nobody likes me is my point. That's Aww, why I, that's I, so sad. I started this podcast so that people could like me. <laughs> that's the whole point. By the way, I did, I just realized you have, you have uh, two different color eyes. I do. What, what yeah. happens? I don't know. It's like a birth defect. I was born with two blue eyes, is and it, then oh. one of them changed. And is it, it actually is it still a, has Is it a blue. defect, though? Is it a defect? No, or is it I mean, I have perfect vision. Yeah. Well, I used to have perfect vision. Now I'm, like, getting old, and yeah. I'm, like, road signs. I'm like, what the? When is that? G Siri it's says 500 feet, so I'm just going to. Yeah gonna crank this one i have no <laughs> idea what's actually happening i okay. can't read street signs any so that's longer. so that's uh, uh that's scary <laughs> ride in the car uh, with me it's a lot of fun <laughs> thank you for getting here <laughs> safely um so that is scary uh, uh who uh who was i just talking to um science song told me that that in so in acting and whatnot uh, you could you just you shift your age. You just you just make your age whatever, right? It's like you can mm. do you can be twenty four to to third to twenty eight. Maybe she can. No, no, no. She's no. She said in porn they ask you your exact age. Nope. They ask you can't yeah, lie, exact you can't lie age. about your age. Yeah, yeah. no, it's exact. She's like I'm thirty one and everybody knows it. And, they, and you're yeah. like and she's like I'm Asian. I look and you fourteen. Only play milf. Yeah, why? Is, yeah, why is that? It's well, she's ridiculous. Asian, so she's so she again, she can still do other stuff. She can she can be fourteen because she's Asian. So it's yeah, they're like no, it. you just get to be everyone's creepy so you're, mom. So you're like from day one, I was creepy mom. Oh really? I tell this story in my stand-up. You came I really, in as a MILF. I truly thought, like, when I got into porn, I was like, oh, my God, people want to pay to see me. Because I was 30 on, when I got in. Fuck. Yeah. Let's so I was like, this. this is awesome. I'm so sexy. Yeah. And then I got there, and the director took one look at me. And I'm not even kidding you. Total look of disgust came across her face. And then she says, ugh, it's fine. We'll just have you play the mom. And I was wow. like, well, there goes my fucking ego for the yeah. rest of my life. Like, I, thank you very much. That's, <laughs> I'm I, done here. So I have something. <laughs> I have something similar with with trying to get cast in roles in New York. And it's not the the few and far between. It's a lot of extra work yeah. actually. And so uh, I found out quickly that my picture. I'm not, I'm, I'm horrible at being uh, just in pictures. I don't know. Right. Uh, I don't know why I can't. Uh, my family always has been. My mom has every picture. As her <laughs> eyes are closed, I can't keep a smile for very long. Right. It's it's horrific. So all my pictures, uh, like I'll be at shows, I'll hand somebody my card, and they'll look at the card, and be like, "Oh, you're better looking in person," which is oh. well, it could be the other way. Yeah. You know, I'd be like, "Oh, it's yeah. really this is you. This is better." Than, yeah. But like, <laughs> Photoshop so I, is the, amazing for you. But, you got, <laughs> but the only thing you send is the is the photo to the person, and so my photos are bad. So I found out because all all of my roles were my first role was like ISIS member. Uh, next member was uh, <laughs> was Marine trying to infiltrate uh, the Taliban, hmm. and then I got 1920s gangster when I was on uh, okay. HBO Boardwalk Empire. Which, so that I see one, all those. That one at least, yeah. But yeah. actually, but I was, uh, but uh, but the the Boardwalk Empire they cast me as like some kind of like janitor man, and then I came in to do the the wardrobe, and they were like, like they kept looking at they were, and I didn't know what was going on. They were like. You're like a gangster if I've ever seen one. So they had to like finagle. Oh, that's awesome. Well, they f had to finagle how to bump me up. They like they knew the system, so they put yeah. me in this. They put me. They bump me out of like janitor into some other thing, and then they put me in this business suit to just be guy standing in the back, <laughs> and then but then they put like kind of a gangstery tie on me, and they brought right. me to the boss. I didn't know what was going on. Right. But they were like they were like conspiring the the two people. Uh, who were the who were the wardrobe people? So right. they so they brought me to the the, ma the main boss, and he's like, oh, it looks good, and he was like, actually. Why don't we bump him to gangster? <laughs> and they're walking back, and I had no idea like what had just happened. And the guy was like elbowing. He's like, "You're gonna get way more work now." 
And I said, oh, thank you. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. The the highest decision the guy, this guy could make was to get me to businessman in a suit. And then the next guy was (laughs) could bump me to to gangster. So I got bumped to gangster. It's amazing. And uh, I got to smoke a lot of fake cigars. Oh, nice. In the background. Have you done background work at all? Oh, yeah. It's the worst. Yeah, it is. Well, I do a lot of background work in porn, so it's a little so, different. Yes, but yeah. I, I, th- I was actually a background uh, person in a gay porn once, which all, <laughs> all we're supposed <laughs> to do amazing. is just sit there uh, in the booth and act like people aren't having sex. And it was weird because I never even <laughs> yeah. I never witnessed gay sex or gay porn, <laughs> so it was just weird to be there. But wh- uh, so, what is an extra in a porn? What do you What did you have to do? I mean, basically, just like that. And I was recently an extra in gay porn as well, yeah. where it was just, um, you know, I was pretending that. The guys liked me, and then, of course, they don't like me because they want to fuck each other. Right. And that's I, I didn't know. Like, yeah, this was yeah. the theme of the one I was yeah. in. Was yeah. uh, was a guy with a beautiful woman, and right. then he sees another guy, right. and then he sneaks out. And luckily, I, d- I didn't have to see the sex, bro. It was a dude strip club, but I didn't see it. So then they went right. to another room, and they fucked. Right. Is that every, is that every gay porn? I mean, it's a good, it's a good majority. It's not every it, gay porn. Because gay guys right. really want to fuck. Straight guys. Oh my god, my best friend is gay, and yeah. he loves turning Just straight men. Like that's straight it. Guys. And oh. he he will tell you, and he's a very good looking man. Yeah, he'll tell you if you leave him alone in a room with a straight man yeah. and alcohol, he was yeah. like, I guarantee you, I will suck his dick. So funny. And I believe him. Like, yeah. Uh, all of he's like, like wh- even guys. He's like, I whether he's home. on board or not. Right. I'm gonna <laughs> <say>. <laughs> no, like because we used to live together, and so I would bring guys home. Yeah. And did he turn any of them? No, but all of them were. Like I can't be alone with him. He's so pretty, and I'm like, really? I know. Wow. Like, cause you'll let him do it. I'm telling wow. you, like, it'll just happen. All right. So, uh, when can I come over? <laughs> um, I don't know. I've never, I've never experienced that. Maybe. But I'm telling you, how would it not be the best blowjob ever? That's what I'm saying. That like, I, man uh, to that man. I, that I believe in. That yeah. I believe in, because I have, ha- I've been in situations where women have done things to my penis <laughs> that <laughs> defy <laughs> physics. Defy logic, Aww. defy biology, anatomy, <laughs> and and then argue with me about it when I'm like, wait, hey. why you, did you, were you like trying to stop it? And you're like, whoa, 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 so, teeth. So I was with a I was with a girl, um, uh, and and this and and this is like f- well into my late twenties, right. so you know it's like, uh, so I, I'm pretty aware of my body, and so her move, she was she was she was younger than me because I'm a comedian, you have to date people younger than you because you have no <laughs> success, so like, you know. Like having a nice Facebook page doesn't 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 work for like a woman in her thirties and forties, right. or actually, but then uh, but then it kind of works again in their late forties. Yeah, it's a weird wave, but when the hormones are just ah. well, th- yeah, well now well now they're just well now they're they're looking at their clock and they're like I gotta have a baby before something happens. So now they, they start lowering the standards again. But it, but the middle gap twenty five to like thirty two, uh, you know, you, you, you're, 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 yeah. So she she's basically. Normal blowjob, and then at the end of it, she just she 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 spends a lot of time on the tip, and just kind of sucks on the tip <laughs> and the head separately. Trying to maybe just suck it out of you. I, yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know exactly, but but then so there's like a lot of pressure building up, not good pressure, and so you just you know when somebody's doing like that initially, and this is somebody I was I was dating, so it wasn't just like a random no. sexual experience. If somebody's doing it to you and it's a random, you, you just can, yeah, you just flip them over, you do something else, yeah. yeah. Uh, you just try to get out of that as fast right. as possible. So this was her move consistently, <laughs> and she kept doing it. And so eventually we were we were together in a relationship, and I said, hey, that thing. We got to like end I, it. You, it's like, no, I was trying to be way more. I was being more diplomatic. I was like, for me, <laughs> I, it's just I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm weird. Uh, but you don't need to do that thing <laughs> to me. I don't, it's, you know. And she still got defensive. And she was Aww. like, well. <laughs> And she like, felt like the need to like, uh, like, like, uh, what, like defend it, I guess. And she, she was like, uh, nobody else has ever complained, which is a fucked up thing to say to like your right. partner, a, right. and b. I'm like, who exactly are you referring to? All these people that are lining up, or all the people that left, and that's why you're single because <laughs> I met you because you kept trying that's to accurate. bite the head of their penis off. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. They la- they didn't mention it to you because they were not <laughs> trying to be in love with you. And now they're mm. gone. So true. So Cut. I forgot. Oh, this is. Oh, this is this. The whole point of this was that uh, dudes are probably better at blowing dudes. Yes, that Solaris. is the whole point of that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because we all think we're doing it right, but we have actually no idea. Yeah. 
you know, guys will lie. And, well, I don't know if they're lying or not. And they're like, oh, my God, you have an amazing head. I'm like, do I, though? Because mm, I have no idea. You're and like, no I know a dude <laughs> who is the best. Well, let's just do a comparison. You want to do a comparison? He'll, right? he'll come in. <laughs> So I uh, the only reason the only reason I think I would I would uh, 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 possibly consider that is because I now I'm in a situation where I'm trying to figure out whether or not monogamy is a real thing, whether or not open relationships are it's a not, thing, sorry. and whether or not swingers are a thing. And so some so I you know I kind I got sort of like I got sort of like side invited to a swingers event. Uh, going as a single dude is not you, you usually can't. Uh, do that. They don't want single dudes. Because right, dudes yeah. are creepy and they're yeah. not good and they yes. just. And they they'll have stand in the corner and just like masturbate and, and watch they, everything happen. And they have dicks and never anybody with a dick is, is evil. So, <sighs> uh, so you know, I'm, I've, I've been in the situation where I'm trying to figure out if I, if I, uh, if I ever want to be in that situation where, right. where I'm with two guys and a girl or what right. the thing is and then whether or not there's a crossover. So, like, there's Your that balls whole thing. Touch or yeah, yeah, it's like, what do you, yeah, what, what's the, what's the, the only time I've ever almost been in that situation is me and my little brother. And I don't know um, if That's he listens. more awkward. I don't know if he listens. No, see, some people say it's awkward but for me it uh <coughs> that was the deciding factor that would have been the reason to do it was because it was your brother yeah because 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 well because a you know that nothing's gonna happen like th you're not gonna fuck your brother so you're right. good so then at least you know that there's no like because because in another situation <laughs> no, you don't know if the lines are gonna cross like you don't know if, if, if halfway through yeah halfway through <laughs> you're like on your way uh, into I penetration and they just jump in the way of it they yeah. just and they catch it you know you don't know um <laughs> you're afraid they're gonna catch your cum no, no, you're well. No, you're cock. Like, oh, say, like cock, I was on my cock, way in, cock, and then he, okay. he just throws his okay, mouth in front it, of it. You know what I mean? It, you know when somebody would, would catch the uh, the you know like if somebody's the throwing bouquet. you something, they catch yeah the bouquet in front of yeah. you. Yeah. All the words I am finding for you. Yeah. Uh, so I've been well. Uh, they're gonna know now because I've been <clears> talking about the same shit for the last like ten episodes. So I'm I, I'm doing ten or twelve in a row. So my brain has oh, nothing yeah. left. Got it. I got no more things to talk <laughs> about other than uh, my. Uh, Dudes catching my cock in their mouth apparently uh, at, at this at this point in time. But so anyway, uh, so uh, so speaks volumes. So it was with me way. and my brother, and I and uh, and we didn't really know how that dynamic would play out. So we we're with this young lady, and basically what ended up happening was my brother pretended to fall asleep, and then it looked and then it seemed like I was just gonna <laughs> hook up with this girl, but it was my it was my brother's friend, and then so then I just I I abandoned ship and I just left, mm. and nobody had sex with anybody. But then my brother mm. texted me a couple years later. He's like, oh, I just bumped into so and so. He's like, she was down. Ah. Oh, so what I should have done. Look at that. What I should have done, and this is weird because talking to porn stars, like obviously you guys are like, yeah, that's what you should have done. But talking to like a normal person in like Iowa, this is not a. Right. It would not be normal for somebody yeah. in Iowa to like have sex w with their brother in the same room. Right. Uh, for the most part. I don't know if I could do brothers. I would feel very incestuous. About yeah. That. Well, so for you, it'd be a sister. No. Oh, you, if you. Oh, you're saying you wouldn't let two brothers. I couldn't. Yeah, I don't think I could uh, do two spit brothers. Spit roast you. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Yeah. So uh, so uh, my brother said she was down. And so what I should have done is I should have just started because he was fake asleep. Right. And right. then I should have woken him up. That's like how every porn starts. Yeah. yeah. Like well, because he fake. Well, he was asleep. well, he was fake asleep because he got <laughs> he got uncomfortable and he didn't know what to do. Right. And then this is and so this is the main deciding factor is like I wouldn't have had sex with this girl. And then this is a weird thing to say a lot. I wouldn't have had sex with this girl unless me and my brother. We're gonna do it. Yeah, together. Like she wasn't on the level <laughs> oh, that I'm accustomed okay. to, Got unless it. Got it. it's this weird thing where my brother's involved. So right. I, I should have been like, should have just like started and been like, hey, you want, hey, can you want to get in on this? <laughs> you, want, you got next. Tag team. Tag team. You got next. And then you make up rules. You gotta make up rules so your balls don't touch. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think you just have to stay on opposite ends. And like in porn, they'll do yeah. double penetration. Yeah. So one in the vag and one now, in the butt. But I've never seen balls it, have to touch. I've never seen it that successfully done. Somebody's always uh, uh, getting getting proper leverage, and the yeah. other person's always yeah. just kind of hanging in no, the hole. No, absolutely. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like that much fun. Yeah. It's probably way more fun. I don't know. I've I don't never, know if you've been DP'd. I have never DP'd ever. Actually, I have had a threesome with two Bucket men, um, but there was one on each end, so it yeah. wasn't like a yeah, it wasn't a DP. I'm trying to decide if I've if I've had a threesome. How do you not know? <laughs> so were you not a were you not awake? So here's what or? happened. So um, if so you're trying to decide, you probably did. 
Oh, I thought you were going to say the other way. No, yeah, you probably did. If you decide, you probably didn't. So there was two people, and there was two women in the room. <laughs> there was things happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, and there was, there, was, there was a heyday where there was sort of like a, you know, like a, like a, like a, like a circle, like a centipedal, like a, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Where ever, the somebody, everybody had their something on something. Right. But there was <laughs> no, it's like, I don't know, because when you have sex, you know. Like, you do the whole thing, and then right. you, f- you penetrate, and you finish. Yeah. But, but I, so it's like, so I don't know what the, that's what I heard. Yeah, I read good, it. Uh, good. But I don't know if I'm supposed to have to uh, like do i have to do all the things to all the people for this to be a completed oh, so you didn't penetrate act. Both? i didn't penetrate both people in the same act in the same time i you know i think that still counts there was mouths like you... i got a double blow job like oh, a lot happened then that's, i don't I know think... if my mom watches <laughs> or listens to this my I dad watches my youtube show and i say the most fucked up yeah. shit ever so i totally like he's and pro- he sees my stand up but he's a dad he's probably pleasant. proud of you my dad is so proud of me da- so it's dads crazy. are so dads are so much easier yeah so. My dad just thinks I'm like the. He's like, I'm so pissed off that my daughter found the perfect profession before I did. He yeah. was like, just stand up and a porn star. Oh, like, he would have done can't it. Can't be mad at that. Oh, for sure. Uh, um, it, when is too late for a dude to get into porn? I don't think there is because men do porn as long as you can still keep it up. As long yeah. as you can still perform. Yeah. I mean, then you can stay in as long as you want to, or get in whenever you yeah. want to. You just have to be able. I always tell people you always have to be able to. Keep your penis hard for four to six hours, and you have to be able to come on command. Yeah. As long as you can do those yeah. things, you can be in porn. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I would, I, my only issue with the four to six hours would be um, just keeping your skin from there's lube bubbling and falling there's off. lots of lube <laughs> on set and it's not a consistent yeah, sex yeah. it's a lot of stopping people don't understand there's so much cutting so that's the question so so do you, do you deflate and then come back so actual sex so we'll do like pretty girl pictures so yeah. we'll do pictures of where we don't we haven't gotten sweaty or anything yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah and then we'll bring in the guy and we'll do pictures with the guy of like his dick inside us yeah. and then we'll do you know stills of sex and it, it goes a long way before yeah, yeah, you yeah. actually have sex and then sex is usually only like 30 minutes yeah so it depends on Has how much god you have to intended stop. right i'm just kidding um, i prefer yeah 20 minutes sex. no I, i'm Perfect i'm pretty sex. i'm pretty specific about 45 to an hour because i want to i want to get i want to like i want to roll a couple orgasms like uh, it's good. one it's one big one i don't yeah. know if this is even like a, but i'll roll them all into one so That's that it's nice, a nice at the end yeah for me, Good. no, it's great for me. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, it's not necessarily. Oh. Yeah. no, I mean, I, I'm, obvi- oh, you're I'm like obviously holding I'm, out for your. Yeah, well, okay. no, I just, yeah, I just keep, I just keep recycling. I don't know if I, I just does it make any sense? <laughs> so like, there's like, there's a couple marks when you, so you can when have you an could orgasm come without coming. Yes. Yeah, and then That's and then it just saying. builds. Yeah. So then you know, got you. I, I don't know why. Yeah. So then the final, the fountain, you know, the Bellagio at the end. Um, but yeah, so, uh, but otherwise, like if, it, you Bellagio. know, do you come to music on tune? Yeah. yeah and it's, <laughs> and it spirals out. Um, so it's cool. pretty good. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole thing. I have, I have the, the, I told you I have the, the, the Amazon echo. So I, I there's a soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Nice. The lights. Yeah. I can make her do the lights. It's a whole thing. That's amazing. It's actually, I, I, I have kind of perfected it now cause I come in, I throw on the, 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 either the John Legend or the Robin Thicke Pandora station. Oh my God. Robin Thicke Pandora station. You, they're God, every- you are the guy you sleep with who never calls you again. You just said you walk into your apartment and music starts no. up. <laughs> the bed spins out from the wall. I think this sounds, I think this sounds <laughs> nice i don't know why you're complaining about this sounds uh very nice there's just like this automatic like wine pour just comes in like, yeah, it's from this <laughs> yeah got it it's uh you know it. it's just one of those things uh no but it sounds nice <laughs> I, I it's very it's um it's very romantic it's got warm towels i have sex in a romantic I have, I have sex in a romantic way okay all right <laughs> I really do. I try. It's um, so sweet of you. Nobody, nobody. And I, I am assuming that nobody l- that listens to this is much interested in my orgasm. <laughs> so let's let's, let's 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 move on. You um, never know. That's true too. So let's move on. Um, so what else? Uh, so stand up. Uh, the whole reason I started this, and you can kind of confirm for me, is yeah. I think, in my dumb brain, I think that there are a lot of parallels, porn to comedy. Yeah. There and are. I haven't had uh, anybody who had any comedy knowledge that could back this up, but I think it's kind of the same size of an yeah. industry where everybody knows each other. Yes, there's weird drama, like you yes. were saying, off, off, off mic. Yep. Uh, and um, and just the thing that I find the most interesting is if you just hang in the industry long enough, 
for some reason you just get credibility. You do. It's crazy. Just and both ends just around. because you've been there and yeah. you're not going away. Yeah. Eventually people are like, Oh, well I guess we can't run her off. She's so. gonna be here. <laughs> yeah. We may as well throw her in a yeah, scene. That's exactly what it is. Okay. Because especially well, you know, it's the same in comedy and the same in porn. The turnaround rate, it's like everyone yeah. thinks they want to do yeah. it, and then they're in, and they're and like, they oh, fuck, like, I couldn't awful. possibly do this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me ask you this, Ed, because this, this is the guy I hate. Go to a party, and you're like, you know, and it comes up. Like, I try, I'm not bringing it up. When I was in my 20s, I would like, bring it up. Comedian, yeah. guys, <laughs> hey, oh. Yeah. Uh, now I try my best not to bring it right. up. And, and so it comes up, talking to a dude, and then his natural, he just goes, oh, I, did that, I did that for a while. Uh, oh, God, yeah. Oh yeah, what happened? You yeah. got too good for the industry, yeah? Oh, you had to retire. You're fucking. You're oh, you're Dave Chappelle. Like if you're not Dave Chappelle, yeah. uh, the, the, that should never be what comes. The I other did that one for a is while. when uh, oh, my friends always tell me I should be a comic, oh, and I'm yeah. like, I bet they fucking do. Yeah, but you shouldn't. I'm yeah, telling yeah. you that right now. Oh, go to an open. <laughs> how do I get into comedy? And you're like, go to an open mic. Go to an open mic where they're also doing music. It'll be, it'll, you'll love yeah. it. It'll be great. Where there's two people who aren't listening to go anything you're fucking saying. Follow a violin. <laughs> yeah. And if you love it, you should stay in it. Yeah, for um, sure. I fo- yeah, I followed a uh, burlesque act in Vegas the other oh, day. Oh, for sure. Did you do this um, stand up and tease? Uh, I don't know what it's. No, it was. Uh, I don't. It was at Sapphire. Oh, in okay, Vegas, okay. Sapphire I've show. Done Sapphire show. It's in so Vegas. good. It's comedian, magician, yeah. comedian. No, no, comedian, magician, burlesque, yeah. uh, magician. I followed burlesque dancers a lot, especially yeah. in Vegas. It's yeah. a very common yeah. show to have and comedy then, and burlesque. And we were the opening act for a dude strip show. So, basi- so oh. basically, you're talking a huge, Comedy-wise? big, sexy room, and nobody in the, nobody in the thing. Yeah, because nobody because it was because it's one of the main <laughs> uh, female strip clubs. So oh. everybody. So so on the other side, it was hot, but dudes okay. everywhere. Yeah. Main stage, multiple stages, multiple right. girls. There's you know, there's there's 40 girls walking around grabbing grabbing wallets and uh, doing this thing. The opening line for one of these girls. I'm not a I don't. I don't uh, I don't like strip clubs that much. The opening line for one of these girls when she walked up, she goes, I'm thirsty. And I was just trying to understand. Like she was one of the, and I was like, "Do you want? Do you, what's do the you goal? Is you just want me to? What do you? What do you <laughs> want? Do you want me to buy you a drink? <laughs> like I don't understand. Like don't you work? They don't give you drink tickets. Right. Like that was all that was going on right. in my mind. Uh, so it was a strange, <laughs> strange. So I had to almost fight a bunch of stripper dudes because I left my camera in in the green room. Oh God. Left. Found out like three hours later that I had my camera. So I had to come back, and it was while the, the male strippers were doing their thing. I don't know how many male strippers you know. I don't know uh, if they're uh, what I lived the, in Vegas. What the so. personality is like. But, yeah. but I walked in on them having a conversation about how mad they were that a dude tried to get a private dance. And I don't know how whether this was just a particularly homophobic dude, but he's like, I don't do dudes, and he's like, re, he's re- recalling the the you know the what just happened oh, to man. the other stripper. So they're already like in this like prot- now straight dudes. When they when they're challenged at anything gay, get very just very yes. just fucking. I d- mm-hmm. don't do gay. Yeah. I don't do that, bro. Like yeah. so, I walk into that energy, mm. and then those yeah. are the guys whose dicks would be easiest sucked. By the way, hilarious. I so, like. <laughs> so yeah, I think yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna mention names, but there's a comedian who's a gay comedian, and and his big move for a while was he would get on he would get on the the phone lines, and he would just claim that he was a tranny because all these straight boys would call in, and right. he loves. Straight boys, and so he would just get off to these just you know <laughs> the, you know the dealing with the tranny stuff. So I got to get in, get my camera, and there was like a moment where like I um, like it was like there was like a circle around me like what are you doing in here, bro? Like there was just like that moment. Oh no! Like, like I like I came back to like look at dicks, you know, like <laughs> ah your dicks, ah, I just come back and just start raping, you know, mouth raping <laughs> people. I was like, no, nah, I just need my camera. I just I did the show before. And and then so I I kind of got the I got the camera and got out of there before like all the energy kind of built up. Right. Like I think they they probably fought each other after I left. Probably. There was just like a, there was just like this weird vibe. Testosterone overload. That's what that. Ah. Is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get it because it it is it is a gayer mm. uh, and and not and I'm not saying gay is a negative thing but it is a, it is a gayer experience to be a male stripper because you can be yeah. around all naked dudes all For the sure. time. Absolutely. Uh, just like just like you know just like well, WWE. It's like straight dudes working at the Abbey and stuff like that. What's the know? Abbey? Oh you. You don't live here. Yeah. Uh, it's like the biggest gay bar. Out oh, there. so because th- yeah. they're because they're like well, they want to make all that money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just allowing themselves to be objects. Here's what I learned: um, dudes are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I try. I've tried to do comedy shows that are that are uh, that are that are an all gay audience and uh, not gay dudes, dudes. So what happens is I go up and they just yell, "Take your shirt off." 
No. Pleasant. Guys are awful. Yeah. I hate men. Yeah. <laughs> They're the worst. We are the worst. I We're still the worst. like them, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. We're the worst creatures. The problem, because the problem is we, we can't make a lot of decisions once right. once we get to a certain aspect of our brain. Right. And it's just like a lot. And we blame, I think we blame that. I think we blame that too much. We're like, well, what was I going to do? I had a hard dick. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> All your blood. I it's had to, gone. I, it was gone. I had, to, I, had to, I had to squeeze it out. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I have those moments. I go in a hotel room, two beds, and then I go, I'm going to come on one of these beds. Absolutely. That's yeah. One bed. is, yeah. It's come always bed. how it is yeah. if you have two beds. Everyone knows that. That's come a on the bed. golden rule. Yeah. Well, how, well, what is, so what do you do? Well, yeah, I'm saying it's a golden rule to have sex on one bed and yeah. not on the other. Oh, I'm just talking about I'm by myself. Oh, I'm you're just, just coming on come stuff. on yeah, the yeah, bed? Yeah, just like a, just a Neanderthal. Oh, yeah. Well, I, mean, I come on the bed. I mean, because if I come, I mean, it's going to just drip down to my ass and onto the bed anyway. So, I mean, I guess I'm going to yeah. come on the bed. It's the same, too. same deal. I yeah. found out recently, and then uh, this is going to make people feel better now, but they. Uh, I don't stay in a ton of hotels, but this trip I have been, and they, there's no, I, I haven't seen a comforter in a hotel. Yeah, because they're fucking disgusting. Yeah, so no they, one should so they've been, so they've been chucking, they've been chucking them. Yes, thank God. But now, but now I'm just in my hotel room, just freezing. <laughs> Although I thought about it, I thought about it later, and I was like, they I have still have a top blanket. I have, but I have my own thermostat, so like, there's kind of no reason why right. I should just be freezing in the hotel room and like, right. I'm like angry about it. But yeah. um. But I like I like things blowing. I like I like like air conditioning blowing yeah. on me when I sleep. Yeah, I like to be okay. cool. No one likes to be overheated when they sleep. That's yeah. ridiculous. And you can't sleep. You can't sleep being sweaty. Yeah, I d- d- uh, I don't know what happens to my temperature, but I wake I always wake up, just wake up covered in sweat. Really? Yeah. That's not healthy. <laughs> okay, good. All I right, feel so like that's a bad. So thing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, after this episode, I'm gonna go to the doctor. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure <laughs> out what's happening with me. Um. So okay. So what else is going on? So uh, what do you so. What do you do, like, obs- do you have anything that you're obsessed with? Like, are you, like, a... Uh, I don't, I'm pretty obsessed with working out. Yeah. I know it's silly. No, but it's I not really silly. do. I don't know. I love to hike and just... Yeah. Okay, so out. then there's a good... There's, uh, yeah. That's one of the things I want to do Hiking while I'm out here. here is pretty, so like, where do I do that? I've had horrible weather uh, since I've been here. It's been cloudy in 60s. I still hiked here. this morning, though, so... No shit. Yeah, uh, I did Runyon Canyon this morning. Okay. And then there, there's lots I of. I think somebody gave here. me that one. You gotta give yeah. you gotta give me the tips on hiking because I want to yeah. go on a hike when I'm here. Absolutely. Um, How long are you in town? Uh, two more days. Oh, nice. Saturday, Sunday, which okay. I which I view as perfect hiking days. There you go. So, uh, give me the intel. Give me the hiking intel. Totally. Um, I got it all. What else? So, uh, what else is happening? Um, so okay, so hiking is a thing. But, uh, what? How do you? How do you manage yourself? Are you doing any crazy dieting things? Like, how do you manage your your, your food thing? Uh, how much have you changed over ten years? Oh, oh my god! Right, so you said you're in your thirties now. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty active in my twenties though too. <clears throat> I worked uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs, like uh, their in their training facility. Okay, I, I worked in medicine there. for okay. uh, eight years. So oh, yeah. very cool. Um, yeah, I'm from Kansas City originally, and so when I was working there, I was working out with personal trainers all the time, and sure. that was when I was like 24. Yeah. So, so I've just learned been all kinds super, of yeah, yeah, super into just being fit, and then I went paleo for a little while, yeah. um, but I don't do paleo any longer, yeah, so but what, I'm like what, aware of so it. So what was your take on paleo? I loved it. My body was shredded. It was amazing, yeah. but I fucking love cheese, and I love bread, so yeah. I still don't have like milk or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Like I took certain things away, yeah. and I'm... I'm. Um, I actually consciously think about what I'm eating now. I right. suppose I never I th- did before. I think that's so. what happens for a lot of people, and I think, and I think that's what's good about these. Some of these diets, and they like to call them fad diets because they because they die in, they die out. But yeah. I think, uh, like my sister, you know, everybody starts trying to diet before they they um, uh, get married and whatnot. So right. so my sister died a little before she got married. She wants to look good in dress. Must wear a size right. small. And I don't know what the obsession is. You got to do it. Um, so what happens is, you know. The knowledge that you get from the things to avoid kind of stays yeah. with you. Oh, absolutely. And I honestly suggest to anybody trying to lose weight to do paleo for at least six months. Yeah. I did it for six months, and I mean, I my body is still shredded, but it's yeah. not like it was then. I look yeah. at pictures, and I'm like, damn. Yeah. I'm like, that's what it happens when you take out all the shitty things that we eat right. that we really shouldn't be right. eating. Right, But, yeah. Because you do take away sugar and dairy and wheat so yeah take all those things out of your diet take them out and then you're good so yeah. I, so I, i'm ca- I'm, I'm in i'm in kind of there so I, I i blew out my knee and so i couldn't run for a while oh. i've always been a runner and so i i, I started getting heavier and heavier because i just had nothing i'd know i not, i couldn't do i mean i couldn't even do the elliptical the elliptical right. it, was that, it was that messed up and i was and i was in the process of changing doctors to try to get to a surgeon to get my shit fixed finally did but so the last like couple i want i think i'm probably up to almost 10 weeks i've been doing this sort of like intermittent fasting 
combined with sort of a ketogenic diet right. where you're only eating for eight hours of the day. Right. So I'm eating from like three to midnight and it something about it that like the initial thing. You know you're a comic when you're like, I'm only eating three to midnight. Like yes. I'm only, that's perfect. Like it's a perfect schedule. Like it didn't even affect my life that much. Yeah, like, I'm like, the, I am a comic, but yeah. I'm so the opposite. I'm such a morning person. So well, I have to nap when I have a show. Well, if I have a show at night, like I have to take a nap because oh, no I'm up shit. by like six, seven yeah. every oh, morning. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah. Because I love working out first thing in the sure, morning. Sure, 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 sure. No, see, I was always, because uh, track was always after school. So, you know, so, uh, so my active hours are still based on like my high school habits right. which is like three o'clock i want to go for a run at three o'clock three four five that's when i that's when i go for that's a run crazy yeah that's just how i built my life wow so it's it, it works out it works out in my favor for the most part yeah. you know how you know how few people are running around anywhere like new york city wherever you are well, three o'clock in la Oh, they're just running all the time. Yeah. Here. yeah it's out here, it's like, who can be fitter? It's weird. It's it is crazy. weird. Uh, New York, L.A., Vegas. Well, Vegas is obviously a resorty place. But, like, yeah. New York and L.A., sometimes you just look around and you're like, wow, where do you guys work? <laughs> well, how is everybody in a coffee shop? Well, out here, nobody works. That's on just the thing. On the street, there's, there's, I think there's 14 coffee shops just on this block. Do you know that, like... 80% of LA is out of work, right? No. But we're all just like struggling. Like someone feed us, someone give us a job. Yeah, how is that like, happening? People were talking about yeah, how um, they were like, I don't know how these homeless guys uh, do it, or the guys that surf, because they surf and they kind of just live yeah. out of their car. They're like, I don't really know how they do it. And I was like, yeah. if you think about it, it's not, it's not that expensive to yeah. eat. And now that I realized that I don't have to eat, you know, until three o'clock, six o'clock, I like, I've been eating far more food than anybody ever needs to have in their body. <laughs> like, I would wake up, go try to find a corned beef hash spot. Do you spot. smoke weed? No, not so much. Uh, I, 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 I've had so many experiences where the weed has, um, the, the, the quality of weed has, has far surpassed my abilities. <laughs> so I, 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 I've been trying to taper back. And I hadn't, yeah. I, the first time I smoked weed, I was like 27 or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I, I um, so I just... For me, it was, and it was, and it was like a, a year and a half where either I don't, I didn't know how to inhale, <laughs> or <laughs> it was shitty weed, or it was shitty it weed, was shitty and so weed. I, well, there was no effect on me. Because when we I were kids, it was like, bad weed. Yeah, for sure. But this is even like so. This is a couple years ago. But now, I mean, the levels out here, yeah, it's insane. And the comedians, the level of comedian weed is like it's, it's, it's off the charts. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I have a script, and I'm like yeah. even out here, I'm like take two hits and i'm like yeah that's gonna be yeah. it for now yeah. that's, that's it and i can only do that when i'm like no like i can't have to do stand up later or right. anything like that like i can't have anything like to do yeah and and smoke weed like really? i have to wait till the end of the night but that's, that's why i strong. overeat too because i overeat at night when yeah it's high and i'm like yeah eating something and i'm like what's the next thing yeah. what's the next thing i what's can here? eat oh dude <laughs> there's like a little bit of relish left let's do this <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I found myself I found myself eating uh, croutons the other day. There was a bag Dude, of croutons I've in the house. Plenty of times I've <laughs> mowed down on some croutons <laughs> and some ranch dressing. Are you kidding so me? Good. Like I hate myself, but it's delicious. So good. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you're thinking about the long term effects. Do you know when you like go and like you take just like you're just like I'm gonna have like a handful and then have croutons. A handful, you're like oh, it's not possible. Yeah, it's you need to eat the whole bag. Ridiculous. There's been multiple times in my life where I've ha where I've um I've hidden. <laughs> The bag <laughs> no, you of the thing because it was my roommates and I ate like their Doritos <laughs> or whatever and I hid the bag. I either would like hide it in the bottom of the trash or hide <laughs> it in my trash can so I could throw it out when they're later. Because in my they're like they'll forget that they don't they didn't they don't know that they have croutons. Oh my god, that's so sad. I'm sad not, for you. Oh shit. Oh, okay, <laughs> this is turned this is turned drastically into a different type of episode. I guess <laughs> you're hiding food. I'm that's hiding sad. the the remains of what was the food. Mm -hmm. So I do I really do if if it's in the house I w I will I will just mouth it so that yeah. I, I so i try i try not to stay with people that are generally unhealthy because yeah I, I don't keep agreed. i don't buy that stuff yeah agreed but i go to my parents house and they have six months worth of ice cream and oh fuck if i'm if i'm, if I'm having a weird day yeah it, it could get out of control yeah that's <laughs> i'm the same way in my house i only buy like healthy stuff so now when i'm like starving i'm like oh I'll eat the rest of the blueberries or oh yeah. i'll have a banana you know so here's what like i found out and this is and this is this is speaking from a person who will, who will overeat if if, if given the opportunity <laughs> uh people are like oh blah, blah, blah that thing gives me diarrhea here's what i found out <laughs> is if you overeat <laughs> any one item that item will give you diarrhea yeah probably. i had blueberry yeah. diarrhea once <laughs> no, you didn't. yeah it was purple it was it was horrifying that is horrifying. And, th and this is how dumb I am is in I my brain so initially. Initially in my brain, I was like, oh, I'm allergic to blueberries. <laughs> no, stupid. You can't eat three pints of blueberries oh, in one yeah. sitting. Yeah. 
So I'm not. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's not. And ama- and you and by amazing, you you mean you mean horrifying. No, obviously. I'm not horrified by poop at all. I <laughs> have things in my butt all the time, so sometimes poop just happens. Yeah. Know? So I so. so as a civilian, <laughs> I keep running into <laughs> situations where people want me to, and I'm not I'm not a huge. I You're was not like, into anal. When I was younger, it was cool because it was a novelty. Yeah. Now I keep running into situations where people are uh, that are that you Requesting know that are into it. it, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and I I need I need tips on how to uh, oh, I tell all the them tips in the world. Well, how to tell them uh, what to do pro. so that I don't I don't I don't want to get poop on me. Is that is that so oh, wrong? Oh yeah. Well, so I wrong? mean, yeah, I know you it ju- is wrong because you're not gonna. I mean, even you're just as gonna get poop on you. As even as me. porn stars, like I clean out very well, yeah. and I'm all about diet the day before. Like yep. I won't have alcohol. I have yep. a heavy protein diet. Yep. We douche the night before, you yep. douche the morning of, and you're literally just like shitting out clear water. Yeah. But by the time you're sticking things in and prodding yeah. it around for an hour, you're I mean, gonna get poop on your dick. There's gonna be poop on your penis. Man. At the end of the day, that's just all there is to it. Now I'm bummed You just out. either have to do it in the shower or in a hotel there you go. where See? you don't care about Go stay at the like Holiday that. Inn if you want to have butt sex, yeah, guys. Yeah, and then you That's can just wrap up the sheets. You don't even have to keep them in your room. The great thing about a hotel yeah. is you can just put the poop sheets outside your door or outside a <laughs> few doors down, and right. the maids just them. come by yeah. and grab it, and Blame no them. one knows that that was your poopy sheets. Poop sheets. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair You're enough. throwing it out there. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, the worst. Yeah, the worst <laughs> is the worst is when there's like that that little that that, that well, I don't want this to be too graphic, but but uh, <laughs> but the, but the blood and poop trail into, oh. into the shower. Although as oh. a ma- as a yeah. man, I feel I feel masculine. There should never be a blood trail. I either. feel masculine when when uh, when somebody's trickling you made away. Made him bleed. Yeah. Do not you? him. Her, what was a her? I said them. <laughs> Just all of them. Them. <laughs> yeah. The, the last. The last time it was a. Uh, and 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 this is the thing. On. I don't know how it works. And and I and I guess this is this is where the equality comes in because I'm sure guys have tried to put it in your ass without asking you. So yeah. basically, I've had my penis taken not away. Really. I'm pretty intimidating. So <laughs> okay. don't fuck with me. <laughs> so I've had my penis <laughs> taken away and replaced. Ba- so taken out of the vagina, replaced back into in, into into oh, the butthole wow. without really my consenting. Oh. Uh, yeah. And as a dude, you just you just don't want the sex part to end. Right. So there's not like a lot of rebuttals right. you can really have. So I've been it. So I've been in that situation <laughs> where, where my penis has been uh, taken away from me and put yeah. it and put it in other places. Yeah. Um, I forgot what the point of that was. But so this was this you didn't was want it. her didn't call. Want it. it was yeah. her call on whether or not. And yes. And, and she and she and she and she trickle bled away. Oh, man. And then, you know, and then I high fived myself in the mirror and Did then met her in the sh- and then met her in the shower. Yeah. You know. I did See, good. I mean, that's what I should have felt bad, you for. said? I mean, no, I'm saying I I'm just... I should feel good. I should feel good about myself. I mean, I don't know if you should feel good that you made someone bleed. I feel like that's a bit extreme, but... Well, it wasn't my choice. <laughs> she did this to herself. She did this to herself. <laughs> Yeah. She was asking for it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not like I, it, <laughs> it's not like I was like running, running and jumping into her. You know what I mean? It's true. I did what I I did what I could. That was so sweet of you. <laughs> I did what I could. You know, I tried to spit on it. I want to, you know. I don't That's know. nice. That's nice. To I'm do. such a sweetheart. Um, so I feel like we've crossed the line that I was trying not to not to Sorry. cross initially. Uh, it's I my, have a it's mind like a 13 year old boy, so I go directly to it. I don't think 13 uh, year old boys have as that much knowledge. Probably <laughs> not. So, You're probably right. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't think thirteen-year-old boys know to put a makeup sponge in a in a bloody vagina. You yeah, know, I'm surprised you know that. Yeah, that was like the first thing I found out during wow. this podcast with somebody. Wow, somebody, good for yeah, you. I'm like, no one knows that. Yeah. I'm like, that's a whole new thing. The I see, that's thing. a really fucked up story. Is those little makeup sponges can get lost in your vagina this as is the, well? This is the follow up story I hear from everybody. Yeah, is, is they get you a phone call. You have to have someone to get it. They out get a, for make you. a phone call and somebody has to come in and get it. Yeah. yeah my 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 gay best friend had to do it for yeah. me, and I thought he was gonna lose his shit because he fucking hates vaginas. And, and then obviously blood. it's bloody. Yeah. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, oh, and I was like, I'm going to die if you don't go in there. Do you want me to die? Is that what you want? And I was like, you have to go. And he was like, how am I going to know what it feels like? I was like, it's going to be the one thing that doesn't feel like a vagina. Yeah. Like, look for that. Yeah. Like, that's what you're going for. He was that's good, hilarious. though. He was very stealth like in and out. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Because he didn't he didn't want to. And I told him, I was like, don't look at it. I was like, look away. Look he away. The sponge. Yeah, well, my vagina in general, because oh, I in the b- vagina or the sponge was gonna be bloody, you yeah. know. So I was yeah. like, "Don't look at it; it's gonna gross yeah. you out. Like, it's gonna be awful." And you don't, and you don't want him to to look at the vagina too long and then come over to the straight side. Oh, he be. will not trust <laughs> me. He's like, the, he, like he, when he speaks, he like spits like glitter. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Should we shout him out? We've been talking about the whole yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. Wesley Woods. Boom. He's a porn star and comic as well. Oh, he is. Oh, perfect. Yeah. The perfect crossover of things. Do you know what's funny is I got him. Uh, I got his start into both. 
Oh no shit! Yeah, we actually met at an open mic, and I yeah. was I was booking shows, yeah. and I didn't know any comics, so I just went out to comedy shows and was just like yeah. listening. That's to the try first to way get, you do it. Yeah, yeah, try to get comics I thought were funny. Yeah, and uh, he was there at the bar, and I thought he was just hot, so I was just gonna talk to him. Oh. And then and then he spit out glitter at me, and I was like, oh, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> and then he said he was a comic, and I was like, oh, great. So I got him a spot at the Ontario Improv. And then come to find out, he had. Never done fucking stand up before I got him a show at the Hilarious. improv. Hilarious. Yeah. So, and then we moved in together, and then he wasn't, you know, paying bills. And I was like, I know of a way you I can make like, a quick buck. I was like, I know a great way. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So funny. So, I, I pimped him the fuck out. It's but all about who you know, guys. But now he's a very successful male porn star. There so you go. It works out for him in his favor. Yeah. yeah. I think he wants out of it too, though. Yeah. I think we're both kind of over it. Yeah, you hit a you hit After a brick a wall years. with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like it doesn't seem like a, uh, a forever art form. I for hope people. it is not a forever thing. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen that. So I I've been horrified, but seeing the 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 old man banging the younger, but I've oh never yeah, seen that's a horrible. And thing I'm sure it day. exists, but I've never seen the grand. I've never seen granny porn. I'm sure uh, it exists. You haven't met um, Sally Mullins. She's no. a comic out here. If you come to with me at the comedy store yeah. Friday night, I will introduce She'll be you to Sally. She is, f- for one, she's a fucking hysterical comic. Yeah. She um, has a room at the comedy store uh, in the night. And uh, she talks about it all the time. She does uh, gilf porn. She she's does her gilf. own. Yeah, she has her own site. It's called Hello Cougar. How old is uh, she? I think she's like forty six. Okay, so we're not talking, but we're not talking like B. Arthur. Like, I mean, but she could be a grandma. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, at forty six, and I definitely could. I could birth Actually, the children I have sex with on set for sure. Yeah, because they show up and they're like, "I was born in nineteen ninety eight, and I'm like, "Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> like this is ridiculous." It's That's not uh, okay. yeah. I was gonna ask you. Wh- uh, yeah, th- you. Pr- so you probably want to try to get out before somebody tries to cast you as the grandmother for sure <laughs> oh my god i would be devastated i was already devastated by milf right like, and that was your first day yeah they just oh, annihilated crazy. me right away that's crazy well you know it's the comedy <sighs> and porn you gotta they just they put you they put you in your place very yeah quickly. absolutely you can't get an ego in these businesses no absolutely not good luck having one you get you get immediately shot back down you're having like a great week everything's good and then yeah. you go to a show in in milwaukee and then uh <laughs> I've and done shows in Milwaukee. Yeah. <laughs> like I've done it. I think I did a show in, wait, was it Milwaukee or Minnesota where it was at a um, a rehab facility? Okay. Yeah. Really? It was like a like a meth addict. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did they? Like, how did they enjoy the? It was very interesting. Um, they gifted um the headliner a knife that night. Okay. Like a like a switchblade knife. Why? I don't know. It That's was very really strange. awkward. It was super awkward. Was it was a very. They were like, "Kill me." It was a not great situation Kill to be me. in. I will say that. Uh, on the on the reverse, I've played retirement homes, and then the first time oh you ever play God, one. God no. Oh no no no! The first time you ever play one, you're like you're like oh like in your head you're like okay it's grandma's don't do the thing, but as soon as you get there and you say the first sexual joke, they love it. They fuck it. They start walking like they're, like they're they're walking out of their chairs. Oh, like they're, they're leaving. Like, no 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 they they, they no they 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 like like the power of Christ <laughs> compel, like they stand up like they're like they're like standing <laughs> ovation. That's this amazing. woman hasn't walked in sixty <laughs> years and she's standing ovation because she's. Wants to hear you talk about her, uh, about your dick yeah. and sex because yeah. uh, they're just old perverts now. They're just old, crazy, dried up perverts who are passing chlamydia back and forth. Well, and that they have no fucks. Like I don't have any, yeah. you know. So it's like they they just take it all in. Yeah, it's they're amazing. just dirty old grandma. And then that, that that's that's one of my favorite facts is that that's where more sexual transmitted diseases are being For passed sure. back and forth. Is that retirement communities? Absolutely, because uh, I mean you're gonna die with it anyway, so just die with it. You know, like tomorrow. Well, that's know? Uh, I don't think like that. Well, <laughs> well, that wasn't the reason I was. There. I was thinking because they're they're just like just come inside me because it's just I'm just an old lady. Like it doesn't matter. Like, like but I'm, coming I'm inside isn't how you get chlamydia. It's the contact. It's the fact. That, well, it's the fact that they don't use condoms. Was well, my point. Cause cause they don't, cause I, I've they actually gotten chlamydia with a condom. So okay. Yeah. Fun fact: You can still it still happens. Okay. So there you go. There you go, boys and girls. Yeah. Uh, that where, was before porn, though. I haven't gotten condoms? any diseases since porn. Should isn't we not that amazing? Woods? Yeah, we probably should. As soon as you say the thing, and then just tomorrow, <laughs> just the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding. laughs> just a, a, I don't know what was that. Just a midget popped out of you. What was no, that? No, that was like a <laughs> burning <laughs> vagina. Okay. 
I feel like all STDs are a very burning. Sensation. Yeah, I'm like a little bummed out that like you from what from what I hear, the more and more is that there are there are non symptom ones for dudes. Mm. So it's like you know. Uh, you just have to go get tested. Yeah, it'd be nice to just it'd be nice to have like a. Uh, like you want a burning sensation? Something, yeah. You something want to, a drip? To, to you know, yeah, because because yeah. every once in a while you're like you're like I'm you're like I'm f- like I'm of course I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, but let's go get tested. But then there's like there's this still thing where you're like maybe you that know? window where you're waiting. It's yeah. painful. See, yeah. we the way we get tested, we're tested every two weeks. Yeah. But I only have a 24 hour period. Yeah. But even in that 24 hour period, I'm like, did I fuck anybody just, outside yeah, you're of the going, industry? Yeah, like, you're, what you're did going, I do? Like, you're tallying through your head yeah, what happened. Yeah. That and I don't make the best decisions, so you know, shit happens. Well. <laughs> You're doing comedy and porn. I think we knew that already. Right. <laughs> you, you chose to come on this podcast, so we already knew that. Um, so yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate your time. Uh, let's figure out how to how to follow you on the internet. Uh, uh, yeah. I, there might be a fake account of you. I think I think I accidentally tagged. Is a, there? Uh, I think I tagged a fake you earlier this week. Oh, so it's probably possible. At um, at Sylvia Sage XXX and Sylvia has three eyes. There's like a lo- yeah. There's a lot of eyes. Yeah, it's I was going to say me. that. Yeah. It's all about me. S I L V I A S. A I G E. Boom. Um, and then my Instagram is Sylvia Sage Sex. Uh, and then I do a YouTube uh, show called Sexy Funny Raw. Cool. With me and Wesley. Awesome. Uh, and I guess uh, if you're in LA, check you out. At uh, the yeah. If you're in LA, uh, I'm doing the Ontario Improv on the 7th of June. I'm doing the Dime Bar on the 13th of June. And I'm doing the Roast Battle again on June 20th. So check those things out. And uh, thank you once again for listening. Yes. Uh, you found us. We're on iTunes. We're on uh, Google Play. We're on Stitcher and Tunnel. Tunnel? Tune in? Tunnel apps? Don't even One know of those. What that is. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, thank you for your follows. Please uh, like, listen, subscribe, and uh, we'll keep, try- keep trying to give you some, some positive content. Uh, as we go, let's do a quick wrap up. Uh, get, your, get your dick tested. Yes. Um, Keep your dick hard for six and a half hours. Um, Viagra is a good help with and that. And what else? Though. And what else? Was there anything? And then the, what else? What else did we did we cover? Uh, uh, you're gonna get poop on your dick. <laughs> you're gonna get you poop on your anal. dick. So. And uh, you know what? Just let a gay guy blow you every once in a and while. And let a gay guy blow How you. How do you know for sure that you're not gay, unless you let a gay guy blow you, and then right. are still attracted to women? There's, there's right. Really why? Yeah, because you can let a gay guy suck your dick and then not be gay. And you're like, you know, I tried it. Yeah. It's not for me. I'm not gay at all. It's and not I for have me. to lick vagina and yeah. let and have my vagina licked by women. And yeah. I am not happy about it when it's happening. Yeah. You know? You're not happy about it? No. Really? I cannot stand. Really? Yeah, I cannot stand licking pussy. Like it it is. Oh, I thought you were saying when revolting. somebody's doing it to you. Even when women are doing it to me, I can't get into it. It's really? super hard because I'm like, I know you're a woman yeah. and you don't have a penis. Because Can you my, wear a my fake favorite, mustache, please? My favorite part about getting eaten out by a man is that soon the penis is coming. Yeah. You know, like that's okay, like, right. that's it's the, the lead like up. The raw sure. Ha, yeah. You know? oh, yeah. Gotcha. So oh, if there's no penis coming, what the fuck is the point What's the this? point of any of this? Yeah. What's the point of any of this? I don't get it. If there's not a penis around the corner, this <laughs> is useless. Oh, and then also uh, get, you know, get a, get like a, get like a signed waiver, I guess, if, uh, if you've had it, just to, to confirm that you've had a threesome. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone should like it's, sign it's off weir- on it. Yeah. It's yeah. weird that we I don't were know. all here. That I don't know for sure whether or not I can consider it a threesome. Yeah. I actually just had a threesome and it got awkward. Yeah. And then they called me afterwards like hang out and i'm like i don't know if we're supposed to hang out i think oh. it was just supposed to you be gotta like call the other and guy and bring him in yeah you gotta call everybody i don't think we're supposed to hang out again though oh. i think that's Is not it just a sing- it's a single experience so it was like i met them at the bar and they yeah. were both really hot and yeah. i was like can't decide which one i want to fuck and yeah. then i started talking about a threesome and they were like we should go oh, it was two and dudes yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and i was like we should go and then we had a threesome and then they called me and they, they want to hang together? out again they're like hey it's brad and brad no they like want to hang out and i'm yeah. like i don't know if we're supposed to they want to have. Uh, they want to keep having the threesome. But yeah, you're saying, maybe. But you're saying the experience itself wasn't that good. No, it was great. Okay. Yeah, I was happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Happy with it, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the the fi- <laughs> the, fi- the final uh, the final uh, note is that if you had a threesome, yeah. uh, that's it. That's it. You don't get another one. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe you do. I'd go back, <laughs> do it again. Call her. <laughs> Call her again. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for being here, Porn Stars of People Podcast. Yes. Stage. Yeah.